Nigeria Interreligious Council, NIREC, welcomes you to the third quarter meeting of the year 2022. I thank His Eminence, the Sultan Al Haji Muhammad Sahad Abubakar, CFR MNI President General, NSCIA, Nigeria Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs who has worked closely with his brother, the immediate past co-chairman, his eminence, Reverend Dr. Samsi Olashuko Adeniyi Ayokule, to make Naira visible. I have no reason to doubt that the incoming co-chairman, his eminence, Archbishop Daniel Oko, will continue to sustain this relationship as we welcome him on board NIREC. It is my pleasure to welcome Dr. Francis Kuria Kagame, the Secretary General of the Africa Council of Religious Leaders, Religious for Peace, from Nairobi, Kenya. Dr. Kuria, you are welcome. I thank Barista Boss Gida Mustafa, SGF, who is ably represented here by Dr. Morris Mberry, the PAMSEC General Service, who has enabled this journey of Naira to sail smoothly. The Office of the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, OSGF, has made Naira an outward sign of the interest the Federal Government of Nigeria has for peaceful coexistence. We appreciate His Excellency Babajide Ulushola Shewulu, the Executive Governor of Lagos State, and the good people of Lagos State for hosting this meeting. I thank the Oba of Lagos for his support. We welcome the Christian and Muslim youth from all the zones in Nigeria to this meeting. You are all invited to this third meeting of NIREC to ponder on our roots and future with the theme working together for justice and peace. This theme reminds me of the novel Roots by Alex Ailey, a story of Kunta Kinte. A Gabia who was born in 1750, a slave and taken to America where he died in 1822. Alex Ali later traced his route back to Gambia to find his route. This are, we are here today to see if we can rediscover our roots in Nigeria. One nation found dead in freedom, peace, and unity. We are gathered here to discuss justice and peace in a nation where some people have used religion and ethnicity to satisfy their greed. How do we sustain the labor of our heroes past when even some pastors and some imams are preaching with ethnic and tribal sentiment in the house of God? a place of worship. How do we continue to sincerely hail Nigeria in the face of injustice and all forms of slavery? To what extent can we blame the bandits, kidnappers, and terrorists who could be victims of parental irresponsibility and failure of the society to provide them love, care, and child protection? We are here to talk about justice and peace at the root of our present calamities and challenges. The guns have refused to be silent, yet insecurity is on the increase because the gun cannot kill an ideology. Many Nigerians are still in the days of kidnappers. Many have died and many have been displaced because we appear to be dealing with the symptoms rather than the root of the problems. Let us do a proper diagnosis of a national ailment to enable correct prescription. Let us examine how ignorance has led us this far. 
what we have as terrorism in Nigeria today could be the maturation of wrong ideas that were planted in the child. What do you expect from a child who was brainwashed and indoctrinated from death? What do you expect from a child who never experienced parental care and love? What do you expect from a child who was denied education? What do you expect from a, a young graduate who is denied job opportunities? What do you expect from a youth who has been given guns for political toggling and dumped after the elections? What do you expect from a child whose horizon does not go beyond his tribe and religion? We are here today to provide answers to these questions and many other questions of natural, national concerns. We are here today to search for a way forward. We are here to think of how the captives can gain freedom. We need mental reengineering, change of values and attitudes against Senke Titanic. We need radical emancipation from mental slavery. I wish that those who neglected and abused the child know that the child would turn against the society and humanity in the future. Nothing is more dangerous than a bad idea. So terrorists claim to be killing in the name of Almighty God. And when their idea has become an act of faith and revelation, they claim that it is God who spoke to them directly to kill in his name. One of the simple and authentic ways to kill an erroneous idea is to show the weapon fashioned from a more reasonable idea. Even if the soldiers succeed in killing all the terrorists in the world, the battle would only be on vacation if the wrong idea is not corrected. True education. Leadership matters. This is why the religious traditional and political leaders are invited here today to reflect on how we can change the existing narrative to allow peace to reign in our nation. We call on our leaders to show justice that can give rise to peace.